I built an automation to help my team purchasing domains for cold email. See, a huge part of my business right now is cold email infrastructure. We get 10 to 30 orders per day of people asking us to set up their cold email mailboxes. And a huge part of that and a huge bottleneck for my team was finding the right domains, then buying those domains, then configuring all of the DNS records correctly, then setting up redirects and putting it in Cloudflare. All of these different steps were holding my team up. So I built an automation to help them out. And today I wanna to show you exactly how it works. This AI agent does domain research. So it'll actually find available domains that are optimized for cold email. So if my domain is leadgenj.com, it's gonna find available domains like myleadgenj.com or getleadgenj.com. It's gonna check their availability and then it's gonna get it ready for my team to actually request those domains. This next process here is it's going to loop over each domain. It's gonna make sure it's available. It's going to purchase that domain. It's going to database it inside of Notion so I can actually keep track of all the domains that I own and when they're expiring. This was something I was unable to do before. Then it's gonna get it ready to transfer to Cloudflare. So it's gonna create a zone inside of Cloudflare. It's going to set the name servers for Cloudflare. And then it's gonna generate all of the DNS records, including the DKIM, the SPF records, the DMARC, all of it is going to get put inside of Cloudflare as well as the Google MX records. All of these are steps my team no longer has to do. And then finally, it sets up clean domain forwarding inside of Cloudflare so that it's perfectly clean and undetectable. Now I had to figure out a lot of stuff in order to make this work and it was well worth the time because my team's productivity in setting up these mailboxes has already 10 x And I know this might be pretty niche, so if you're not setting up cold email domains in bulk, either for yourself or for clients, then you might not need this, but hopefully you can get some ideas and I really just wanna show off and show you what I built. So my standard ordering process kind of starts with a mailbox setup form like this. They'll give us their name, email, tell us how many mailboxes and then if they choose easy mode, which means we're buying the domains for our clients, then essentially my team is going to need to use this automation. So once they submit that, it essentially gets this webhook and using their main website, using the number of domains that we're gonna be searching for, it's actually going to use this AI agent to check domain availability and search for domains that are .com domains using some best practices that I've learned over the years. So we're gonna use modifiers like get or hub at the end to modify those domains and find similar secondary domains. Then I want two outputs. I want the domain list and I want this pre-filled URL for the form that my team's going to be using. And here's what that pre-filled URL looks like so that when my team is ready to submit the domains, all they have to do is copy that URL and it's gonna trigger the next step in that automation. Now I wanted this to be a human check step so they can actually see what domains are going to get purchased. Then it's going to add that as a comment inside of Asana, which is where I keep all of my projects and tasks for my team to make sure that they get it done. Now this part's actually fairly simple. The tough nut to crack was this next giant workflow. I needed a way to buy domains programmatically, check domain availability programmatically, update name servers. So we went through a lot of different options, Porkbun, Spaceship, None of them have really good APIs to allow for this. So what we ended up using was a tool called Dynadot. And if you're interested in using Dynadot, I'm gonna have a link down in the description so that you can set up and start using this. And as you can see, we're doing about $4,700 a month in domains. And I just keep adding prepay to this thing. We spend so much money in domains. But Dynadot has a really, really strong API that allows you to do everything that I needed and more. It's also very affordable at about $10 per domain compared to GoDaddy, which is 12 plus 24 to 30 on renewal. So Dynadot's been great. It's not one I've used before, but if you're trying to do domain purchases and configuration using API, it's been my favorite so far. So the first step here is to catch this form trigger, which has all the domains to buy, loops over those domains. And the first step here is to ping Dynadot to check the availability. Now, if they're using the domains found in step one, they should be available because we just confirmed that they were. If they are, we go ahead and do that purchase inside of Dynadot. And by the way, so you don't have to figure out how to do all these API calls, this entire template is going to be avail available to you in my AI Insiders program. So you can just copy this and you'll just have my API calls, you'll have my prompts. So you can just set this up and start working for yourself. So it's gonna go ahead and purchase that domain and then it's gonna add a page in my Notion database so that I can actually see all of the domains that I own and when they expire. And here's what that Notion database looks like. We've got all the domain names, our clients, the date they were registered, the domain age, and their current status. So this is really important, especially as domains get to be 
12 months old, 11 months old, and they're about to renew, I want to make sure that, that client's still doing mailbox infrastructure with me so that I'm not paying for his domain renewal for no reason. Now, if the domain purchase is successful, it's going to go ahead and get it ready to transfer to Cloudflare. Now, we want to transfer to Cloudflare because it's best practice for deliverability. When the traffic is routed through Cloudflare, it's a good signal for most of the email service providers. So in order to get this thing over to Cloudflare, we need to now communicate with Cloudflare via API. So here is the first step. We need to create this Cloudflare zone. If you're familiar with Cloudflare, the first thing you need to do when you add a new domain, it is free. You can add limited domains to Cloudflare, absolutely free is create this new zone by basically telling it what domain you want to bring in, hitting continue, and then it gives you name servers to change to. Now, the good news is we don't ever actually have to log into Cloudflare now that we have this automation set up. So we're going to create this Cloudflare zone. Again, you can just use my exact same API calls and they should work just fine. And once you create that zone inside of Cloudflare, it'll give you the name servers that you need to update it to inside of Dynadot. So here's what this automation looks like when it's running correctly. So we've got the trigger coming in and we've got it looping over 10 different domains to buy. It's gonna check the availability. It's going to then purchase those 10 domains, log them, create those 10 zones inside of Cloudflare. And when it does this part, it's actually gonna give us those name servers that we need to update to. So that in this next step in Dynadot, we can set those name servers here. Domain, name server zero, name server one. And these are those name servers that we just got. And at this point, our domain has been transferred essentially from Dynadot to Cloudflare. And now we have to configure those DNS records inside of Cloudflare. The first thing to do is the DKIM record. So you can either do this here or you can do it inside of a Google admin panel. We'd actually do it in both. So we actually generate that DKIM record from this code block. Feel free to use mine, but it actually gives you an RSA key and then parses it into the full DKIM record. So this is what we're gonna be adding to our domain. And the DKIM record is just there for security so that it's going to help with deliverability. Next, we're just gonna normalize some DNS records. So we're gonna set the DKIM name, value, SPF record that we're gonna use, DMARC record that we're gonna use. And then we also wanna set a tracking domain. So in instantly, we know that we have to point the CNames to proxy.itrackly.com. So we can go ahead and do all of that in this automated step. Each of these API calls here is a call to Cloudflare to add a different record. This one adds the DKIM, this one adds the SPF, DMARC, the Cloudflare tracking domain, and then each of these is a Google MX record, which is going to be essential for sending emails through Google. And Google is our email service provider of choice when we're setting up cold email mailboxes for our clients. It is by far the highest deliverability. Next, it's gonna check if we requested domain forwarding. So if they gave us a website, then we're going to forward one domain to another domain. What does that mean? If someone visits getleadgenj.com, it's going to automatically redirect them to leadgenj.com. And we're gonna do it in the cleanest way possible. So for that, we're gonna make three more API calls to Cloudflare to set the A record, the www, and finally the domain forward. It's going to loop over this entire automation for the entire number of domains that we have. And in this case, it's 10, but it will go 20, 30, 40, 50 domains at a time. The only thing that I have to worry about is keeping my prepay full inside of Dynadot, which can get really tough because my team orders a lot of domains. Now, the best part of this entire automation is it's essentially free. Dynadot is free to set up. It's $10 per domain to purchase, but using the API is 100% free. Cloudflare is also 100% free. The only thing that you're going to need to do is grab your own API keys. So inside of Dynadot, once you copy this template into your own, you're gonna have to come in and you're gonna have to change out your Dynadot API keys and your Cloudflare API keys. So as you can see inside of my Cloudflare, I've actually set a custom header off. So you can't see my API keys here. So what you're gonna wanna do is come into your top level Cloudflare account, and then come into manage account, account API tokens, and here you'll be able to see all of the tokens that you can create. So we're gonna create custom token and you can do that right here to get your Cloudflare API token. And inside of Dynadot, it's pretty much the same thing. You'll come into your Dynadot account, tools, API, and then I believe they want your API production key or your API production secret key. Now the final step in this automation is aggregating all of the results at the end. So here we've got 10 completed loops that went around 
As you can see, this is 10 that got done. I wanna aggregate all of that information and finally send my team an email with the report of what was done and what was completed successfully so that they know the domains that they ordered are now successfully added to Cloudflare. And as you can see, all of our domains are now cleanly added to Cloudflare. They're working perfectly and this is fully optimized for cold email. So if you wanna set up this domain purchase and set up automation and import it into your own N8N account, join my AI Automation Insiders. It's gonna be located in the classroom in the lead generation section. That way you can just import my template, follow it step by step, and you'll be able to quickly get up and running with this automation. And if you did want my team to go ahead and set up your cold email mailboxes, just come to leadgenj.com slash inbox and we'll go ahead and get that set up for you. And if you want a discount on Dynadot, there's gonna be a link down below to start using Dynadot and hopefully save a few bucks using my link. That's it, I hope you guys found this useful. For more really helpful tips on lead generation, for automation, for building things with N8N, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. If you thought this video was helpful or relevant to you, I'd love to know about it. I know it's a little bit niche, so let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and hope to see you inside of our community. Bye.